so guys here uh, in this picture whatever you can see is right now i'm discussing about the hip joint okay hip joint and the ligaments that are located in the hip joint okay so first important thing is you have to know some very basics which i am pretty sure that all of you know see this cavity you see this is called as acetabulum this cavity is called as acetabulum and after that this part which you can see is the head of the femur this is called as your head of the femur right so the next bone which you can see is your femur bone now in this femur bone this part is the most common part that is fractured that is called as the neck of the femur this is called as the neck of the femur okay and you know this part is called as a greater trochanter greater trochanter and this one is called as the lesser trochanter now between the greater trochanter and lesser trochanter for example if i am drawing a line this line is called as intertrochanteric line so what is this line this is called as inter trochanteric line okay so this line over here is called as intertrochanteric line and you see this opening over here this is called as fovea this is called as a fovea where a ligament called ligament of head of the femur will attach there okay so that is called as your fovea now if you look at the hip bone like this in this direction over here so here you can see pretty important thing so let me put this picture out so this is how the acetabulum is present this is your acetabulum right now in the center right in the center of the acetabulum whatever you are seeing right now this is called as acetabular fossa and what is that yellow thing there is fat in the acetabular fossa okay so this one is your ac tabular fossa and within this acetabular fossa what you have is the fat you have is the fat and after that this outer part whatever you can see this is called as articular surface you okay also call call it as lunate articular surface lunate articular surface and next important thing is that surrounding this surrounding this you have got some very important thing and this is called as a ligament and this ligament is called as acetabular labrum okay so this part which is surrounding your entire acetabulum is called as acetabular labrum right so this part is called as acetabular labrum okay and next important thing you see a ligament here right so here also i hope you can appreciate this ligament white color so this ligament which you can see is transverse so and transverse and it is in the acetabulum so this is called as transverse acetabular ligament transverse acetabular ligament so this ligament over here is transverse acetabular ligament right so now we shall write down first of all what are the uh, ligaments here so knowing the names of the ligaments is more than enough you need not to know the picture and all but still i'll try to show the pictures as many for as many as ligaments as possible okay so let us write down the ligaments of hip ligaments of hip joint right so in the ligaments of hip joint i just want you to remember the mnemonic capital instead of capital just write it as capital instead of capital write it as capital okay so what is this capital what is this capital okay first c here stands for capsular ligament c here stands for capsular ligament okay capsular ligament or you can also simply call it as a joint capsule capsular ligament or you can simply call it as a joint capsule okay next after c the a here stands for acetabular labrum just now i have shown it to you right acetabular labrum and third important thing is p p stands for a ligament that is attached all the way from the pubic bone till the femur pubo 
फिमोरल लिगमेंट प्यूबो फेमोरल लिगमेंट ओके दैट वुड बी प्यूबो फेमोरल लिगमेंट एंड नेक्स्ट आई स्टैंड फॉर फ्रॉम द इशियम टू द फीमर दैट इज इशियो फेमोरल लिगमेंट इशियो फेमोरल ligament okay so ischio femoral ligament so you have covered uh, capsular ligament acetabular pubo femoral ischio femoral and t stands for transverse acetabular just now we have shown you i have shown you your transverse acetabular ligament transverse acetabular ligament so next one is stands for transverse acetabular ligament and next here i i here stands for ilio femoral ligament ilio femoral ligament and you know ilio femoral ligament is one of the strongest ligament ilio femoral ligament is one of the strongest ligament strongest ligament and the next important ligament and the last important ligament is ligamentum teres femoris that is ligamentum teres femoris so what is ligamentum teres femoris this is a round ligament which is located on the head of the femur okay so what is this this is your round ligament round ligament on the head of the femur round ligament on the head of the femur so how many ligaments we have in total guys we have got one is the capsular ligament acetabular ligament pubic femoral ischio femoral transverse acetabular ilio femoral as well as ligamentum teres femoris okay so these are the seven important ligaments which we have so what is this capsular ligament guys so this is how the capsular ligament looks i know all of you might have known this this is your head over here and this is a femur right so this is the capsular ligament over here so this ligament which you can see here right this is your capsular ligament okay so this ligament which you can see here is your capsular ligament over here and next important ligament is if you look at this right if you look at this from the iliac bone okay from the iliac bone all the way till the femur bone here you have drawn this ligament over here right so look at this ligament isn't this ligament thick right and the second important ligament is from the same point all the way down here so this ligament is also thick okay both of them are thick but now look at this one now this ligament which i'm drawing right now is thin so the ligament which i'm drawing between the two thick ligaments is thin yes or no right it is very thin so what is the name of this ligament so this ligament over here is attached all the way from the ilium to the femur so this is called as a ilio femoral ligament or ligament of biglo okay it is also called as ligament of biglo so this ligament is ilio femoral ligament and ilio femoral ligament is having three parts so this part which you can see this is called as a lateral thick band this is called as a lateral thick band and this one over is called as the medial thick band medial thick band lateral thick band and in the center whatever is there this is called as the thin band okay so lateral thick band thin band and medial thick band so all these three things together all these three things together you call this one as ilio femoral ligament ilio femoral ligament or ligament of ligament of beech low or big low okay so this is called as a ligament of big low and next important ligament is this ligament all the way from the pubic bone superior ramus of pubic bone to the femur here what is this ligament this is called as pubo femoral ligament right so this is called as pubo femoral ligament so this is called as pubo femoral ligament now all of you look here so this is a real picture of the ligament here so here you can see a ligament here you can see an other ligament over here 
right so this part is called as the lateral thick part this part is called as a medial thick part and in the center you cannot see i know that is called as the thinnest part so this is the iliofemoral ligament and this one over here which you can see right transversely this is called as your pubofemoral ligament right this is your pubofemoral ligament now in the next picture here you can see that this ligament which you can see here right like a cap this is called as capsular ligament and i have shown you there is a some there is some point called as fovea you remember right so through that fovea whatever ligament is coming out like this you see whatever ligament is coming out like this so this is called as the ligament of head of the femur okay so this one is called as ligament of head of the femur next important thing next important thing is that this muscle which you can see here is your gluteus maximus muscle this is your gluteus maximus muscle so next on the bone here see this bone is called as your ischium right so on the surface of ischium you have got a small bursa this is present below the gluteus maximus and above the ischium bone so this bursa over here is called as sub gluteal bursa sub gluteal bursa now you know weavers when they are sitting for a long time and weaving the clothes and all so what will happen is that this bursa is in constant friction right so the gluteus maximus will compress on this bursa and this bursa is compressed against this ischium bone so what will happen patient will have inflammation to this sub gluteal bursa right and such problem you call it as a weavers bottom weavers bottom such important thing you called as a weavers bottom 